Hi there and welcome back. This is Chris Stout. I'm going to be going over the Daedalus Tail Tidy. I just recently received it. It's got great boxing. Um, so the top looks like the top, the bottom looks like the bottom. It's really pretty cool and I really appreciate that attention to detail because I think it also speaks to uh, the guys there. They're a Southern California company that does a lot of specialty parts for the BMW uh, N9T. So shout out to them, Dmoto as their website.co and uh, it's also kind of cool, this matters too, that this is all totally recyclable and they tell you that. So in the kit, um, this is the beautiful piece of engineering that's going to be substituting. Um, this is going to be a kind of a do-it-all uh, piece. It'll be tail light as a running light, brake light, and uh, turn signal and emergency signals. So I'll be going through putting that in. Also a cool swag sticker. Um, the packing slip, which then makes note that um, I got the tidy and got the uh, minima, uh, the smaller one, and got the undertail light or un yeah, undertail license plate kit. And that's, whoops, what is in here? We'll take a look at it together for the first time. So, and this is lit. I've had a lot of bikes that did not have lit tail lights, or pardon me, turn. Um, license plates, um, but in some European countries that's the law, so it is here. I heard this is a uh, Resumo uh, light as part of this, and I'll also be putting this on to this piece before we do the full installation, just because it makes life a little bit easier. This is the kit. Um, most people recommend, and they, it looks like they don't even put the kit in with it anymore, to just reuse the bolts that come with it because they're tapered and obviously uh, do fit. And then these are spacers. Um, I have the R9T with the cowling. Um, looks pretty much like this bike, and I guess my bike will look pretty much like that bike. Um, if you use the rear seat, then they have these spacers for it. So most of the time I'm gonna have the um, cowling on. And then this is their thank you card, which also looks very cool. I think that's a keeper. And then they tell you here, again, thank you and tell you about their products and then give you a link to their website, which I've gone to and watched. Um, it's a PDF uh, that you can download and step through it. There's also um, some other YouTubers out there that have uh, this kit, a slight variation uh, that are a little older, but this is 2022 going on a 2022 bike. So stay tuned. The next thing I'll be doing is uh, putting this taillight, or I keep saying taillight, sorry, putting this license plate uh, holder on. All right, and we are back. So what I did was um, go ahead and install, just a little pro tip, to go ahead and install this. If you're going to be using this, install it before you install this piece. It makes life a lot easier. Uh, there's a few little tricks with that. Um, my Torx wrenches aren't quite long enough, so I had to take these pieces off. Then this piece comes off. Then you can take t a little uh, two millimeter, I don't know if it's that big, little hex wrench and take these off so that these freewheel and then put some Loctite on these two, cinch them up, and then put it all back together. So it makes, again, a very nice and tidy potential tail. So here's what we will be taking off. All of this will be coming off. And I think it's a Torx 20, what is this, uh, 25 and 27. So there's four bolts, Torx bolts up underneath here uh, that I'll be taking off. And then the one that holds the cowling back here. That's a little bit larger size. So uh, we'll be back once I've taken that off. Hi, everyone. This is probably going to be a bit of a collage of... Um, not just um, working on my BMW, but also on video techniques. So sorry for the verticals. Now I'm doing a voiceover for the horizontals. And you'll see that I've taken off the rear tailpiece, which was 
a terrifying exam or a challenge. And I was looking down in here, and if it's a 2017 or newer, the ECU is not there. So there's a um, just kind of a, a terrifying set of wires in there, and it was just so difficult to get that clip out. But this piece will go back in. It just pops back in, no tools for that, and gives some protection there. The I've uh, bolted in. This piece was just so difficult to get out, but I was so thrilled to get it back in. Of course, when I started, it was upside down, so I had no lights whatsoever, which was terrifying. But then I got it the right way, clipped it in, and all was well. I also, when I talked to the... Uh, uh, folks at Daedalus, they said you could take out this top bar piece that we're looking at, the black uh, above the f red frame, and I chose not to do that right there. Um, instead, I took a look underneath, and there's this opening right here. And I didn't really want to thread it through there either, um, so I um, loosened the bolts, the torxes right there and right there on the other side enough to be able to fit through the um, uh, module there and then clip it in. So it's a much uh, tidier, better fit. I didn't have to worry about the seat not fitting back in or the cowling or anything like that. I'll probably put a piece of um, uh, duct tape or electrical tape to help uh, uh, patch up that hole. So I didn't have to undo any of that, but that's another way that you can do it. So this piece here is uh, in the process of being tightened. I had the uh, license plate light there, so that gets just simply clipped into that. And then you can just leave these two pieces undone unless you do the um, external to uh, turn signals, which I chose not to do. I want just even more elegant and just um, uh, less is more in terms of the back. So, when I tested things out before I put everything together, I was tickled to see that I had a taillight. It looks just really great like this. You'll see it again um, in the next one. Here's the turn signal for the right-hand side, and then I'm looking up here to show you the brake. So, there the whole thing is lighting up as I activate the brake lever. So... Whew, boy, what a process. Here's the lights here um, for the license plate. Um, and I'm just really tickled. So getting ready to put everything else back together now. And uh, we'll go back to live action. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Um, got everything put back into place. And I really couldn't be happier with it. Um, the, uh, be sure to check the notes below um, if you're interested in this uh, installation. I highly recommend um, <clears throat> the craftsmanship of this. Their engineering is just fantastic. Again, if you've got a 2020, well, certainly for a 2022, be sure to um, uh, check out this video and see some of the little tips and tricks that I have in it. I hope they'll be helpful with you. But um, again, I'm just really happy with this. I'm happy with the uh, the look of it with um, the fender, the new fender that I put on. Um, watch that, the tricks and tips with, with how the trauma with that was. Um, if you're interested in that, uh, uh, be sure to, be, uh, to watch it and to be aware how to install that. But this installation went quite well. Uh, most difficult part was just really uncoupling uh, some of the the wires and stuff for fear that I would mess something up. But uh, very happy with it. Again, just love the, the geometry of it and how everything plays out. The craftsmanship and the engineering is very befitting to BMW and uh, to this bike. So I'm uh, going to put the plate back on and uh, take it for a spin. Uh, see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching and ride safe.